Hello everyone, welcome back to Zab Explains, where I simplify complex tech problems. I am Zubair and today we are tackling a common VMware error, Virtualize Intel VTX slash EPT is not supported on this platform. Let's dive into the solution. So let me open this uh, workstation. So you're trying to start a virtual machine on your workstation and you encounter this error, which is this okay it says the virtualized intel vtx ept is not supported on this platform right this usually means you that your systems hardware or software settings aren't configured to support nested virtualization or extended page tables ept which are necessary for running certain v, 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 vms right now the intel vtx allows a computer to run multiple operating systems simultaneously while the extended page tables which is ept is a feature that improves the performance of virtualized environments now if i even uh, if i click yes still it does not work it says module hp power on failed failed to start the virtual machine uh, you can try it as ma as many times you want, but you will encounter the same thing, right? So uh, let's uh, dive deep into this thing because I've seen on um, on Google that the solutions are not perfect. I mean, they're not complete basically. So uh, so let's uh, get into this. Now, first, let's ensure that your hardware and software meets the necessary requirements, right? Make sure your processor supports Intel VTX. Most um, most the modern intel cpus do uh, while as the um, the amd's uh, cpus um, have some exceptions so you need to check if that is enabled uh, i mean supported or not and then you have to make sure that the uh, intel vtx is enabled in your bios or uefi firmware bios settings now ensure that your host operating system supports virtualized technology now, now the windows would support obviously now the most common reason for this is that vtx is disabled in the bios or ufi uh, in order to enable this you would have to restart your pc and um, press the key to enter the setup this is usually f2 f10 delete or escape once you are in um, then you can look for advanced app or a similar section and find the settings for virtualized technology uh, it may be labeled as like intel virtualized um, technology vtx or virtualization extension set it to enable right and save changes f10 and restart your computer now next let's verify that uh, virtualization is enabled in your operating system um, so that you need to right click and open the task manager you can go to the performance tab go to the cpu and when you see here virtualization enabled here right so this is uh, which makes sure that the bios uh, virtualization in the bios is enabled if it's not enabled you may need to recheck your bios settings and ensure that no other software is blocking virtualization We'll say um, if the same thing persists, um, you just need to open the virtual uh, VM, um, open your VM workstation and select the VM that is causing the issue. For example, this one, and um, just click on the processor and uh, uh, go to the processor settings, and you should see this as well enabled, right? So make sure that this is checked as well. Now we can do this through the uh, VMX file as well. Now you need to go to the particular, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, particular section where the VM is there. For example, you go here, you should see a VMX file, for example, this one, and click on that and open this with, a, open with say, notepad. Okay, you should see a line called the VHV.enabled. So you go scroll VHV enable. It is true. If this is false, uh, make uh, change it to true and save the file. So the same thing you can do from the uh, VMX file. So the no most important uh, part is to disable the Hyper-V on Windows. Um, so on Windows, Hyper-V can interfere with VMware. Uh, disable it uh, by opening the control panel and selecting programs. Uh, turn a uh, Windows feature on or off or just uh, um, simply uh, click on search and say features. You would see turn Windows features on and off. So once you are here, 
wait for a while uh, so that the list of uh, features that are enabled or disabled you can see here now as you can see here i can see that the hyper v is enabled if you expand there are two more uh, features underneath that you just uncheck the hyper v that is one thing and scroll down and there is one more thing that is virtual machine platform click on ok and this will be disabled okay now don't restart your pc as of now okay um this is um, uh, one more there's one more thing that is uh, has to be uh, disabled uh, which is the the core isolation just select and the, do a core isolation here click on this one and uh, this should be disabled if it's on um if it's on like this just go and disable this okay so that is the last thing that you need to do before we are set to um, give it a shot give the um, vm a shot to run but before that we need to uh, restart the system so i'll just restart this system and come back okay so we are logging back to the system uh, now i will go and open the workstation and for, as far as the process goes this should be it and um, this should solve your issue of the vmware not working so as you can see now my vmware uh, virtual machine is working perfectly fine so i didn't encounter any error as such the uh, dvtx or vtd whatever is not enabled or is not supported kind of stuff and that's how you can fix the virtual um, virtualized intel vtx ept is not supported on this platform error in vmware workstation i hope this guide helps you get your virtual machine up and running smoothly now if you found this video helpful be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials and troubleshooting tips Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.